Hey everybody, this isn't your normal video. This is in response to uh, a Tesla buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. This is gonna be more of a little rant, but trust me, I'm going somewhere with this, so stick with it, it won't be a long video. Bit Tesla bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Yippee, right? Uh, it's gonna go to all time highs. I think it already crossed 43,000. Woo, big whoopity doo dah. <laughs> If you guys only know some of the conversations I've had with people in high levels that I can't talk about, but um, and it's just because I've done business with them or hung out with them for years, and and they work at high levels of some of the highest, largest companies on earth, right? And they just don't get it. They've never gotten crypto. They've never gotten Bitcoin, right? And I've tried to explain this to them that hey, just you know, your boss owns Bitcoin. The big guy, the biggest, the smartest guy, the person that you idolize, the the one you read the books of. They own Bitcoin. Not only have they own Bitcoin, they've owned Bitcoin all since around 2014. That seems to be about the common thread they all have. That's when you could watch videos on YouTube about them specifically talking about how it's going to change the world. And for some reason, though, people think that they'll talk about that kind of stuff and then they wouldn't go buy it. Just, you know, they, they all own it. They all own it. And even people like, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to throw it on a limb right now. Warren Buffett doesn't own it. First off, he absolutely has exposure to it through the companies that he invests in. And you see when the trends are moving, him sell off a certain company and he'll go buy a different company so he's exposure to gold or exposure to uh, blockchain technology. People are also allowed to say negative things about things they already own. And usually they would have a nefarious reason to do so. And not, I wouldn't say nefarious, but you know, hey, there's nothing illegal about saying bash in your own investment. Um, there's a difference though between Elon Musk owning Bitcoin and Elon Musk convincing the board of Tesla to buy Bitcoin. Now, I'm going to tell you, very, very simple. Everybody on the board could own Bitcoin, and they could have owned Bitcoin for years, right? But there's also a big difference when they make the coordinated decision to take company assets and buy an investment. Because now they're putting the company at risk. They're also putting themselves at risk for making certain decisions. Uh, in all kinds of different facets. If they were to buy something that wasn't trending, it could be bad for the, uh, be, it would it would not bode well for the company's share price. And share price is everything to these companies because it has to do with their financing. All right, so let's make that clear. Secondly, this is having to do with the people you hang out with in life. If by now you've been into this for a couple of years and you can't convince family members and friends because you're honestly just trying to help them. You should go buy gold and silver. You should go buy uh, cryptocurrencies. The economy is not doing well and, it, and it's not going to get any better. You need to separate. There's a point where you separate and you hope that when this next downturn comes and these things really moon because right now they're mooning because of inflation. You wait till they moon out of panic. You're going to hope that those people don't even remember you talking to them because they're going to become the biggest leeches you ever had. This is right now, the most important thing you can do is continue to educate yourself, push out time killers. And I don't wanna bag on video games. I People get all fired up about it, but anything that wastes your time, there's things in my life that I have to figure out right now that waste my time. Like I, I talked to a business partner a couple months ago, he said something that's completely changed his life was something I, I told him that you have a very long commute to work. Stop listening to music and start listening to educational YouTubes. And it will change your life. It will literally, within a month, watch what happens to your knowledge base. It'll explode. Your brain will just start firing off in a totally different direction. And it did. He actually came to me and said it it was mind-blowing what happened to the way he started thinking about things. And he's already a, not only a successful person uh, in his own right, both financially and uh, mentally, he has a great family. But, but now it's just like a totally different, it's a game changer. So... I wouldn't put a whole lot of credence in this. Just so you guys know, there are pretty much every board of directors of every technology company in the country right now is talking about this if they haven't already done it. And if you notice, the news stories coming out are that they purchased 1.5 billion. It's not like, hey, we're thinking about it because anyone that's got half a brain knows not to do that, that they're just gonna let the cat out of the bag and run the price up, especially, and then think about this, guys. You're talking about somebody that goes out and tweets about Dogecoin. And it's like Dogecoin's the people's coin. Well, I didn't see an, an in, <laughs> I, I don't see Tesla making an, an investment in Dogecoin. And I think that's pretty lame. I think uh, it's very easy to sway people. And by and large, the, the masses, the crowd, go with 
what everyone else goes to. So I just, I'm really sad to see that kind of persuasion, but you know, people are gonna have to make their own decisions and that's, that's why markets, you know, it's, that's why in certain markets you have to be a credit investor to make investments because it's easy to uh, lose money. Last thing I'll say, there are some of you that I know that are just crushing it. And when I mean crushing it, I'm saying that you have what you would think of and what most people think of is very little, very little money, but you've got it. You know, you've been struggling, you've been paying off bills and debt, and you've been trying, you've been scraping. And I, I honestly am so excited for you because either it's um, declawing your way back from a bankruptcy or a, a marriage that fell apart and, and it cost you money or uh, maybe the loss of a job. But what you're doing is you're trying and you're grinding and you're crushing it. I want to just say, honestly, from the bottom of my heart right now, keep it going. Just keep going. You literally have me in the corner of your ring just as your advocate. There's nothing better than trying and watching one success after another success. There's going to be failures in between, but gosh darn it, just keep clawing, keep grinding. To the two guys that stopped drinking um, to, to buy more crypto, my hat is off to you. I need to stop drinking. It's a time waster, a money waster. It does nothing good for my body. The, th the next thing I want to say, guys, is that we are going to see in the next uh, handful of weeks, and I'm, there, there's rumblings in the market right now. There, everyone's talking about a, a crash, all right? This isn't uh, the, the economic ninja telling you there's going to be a crash. This isn't financial advice, but I want you to just, I want you to start planning now. Just plan. And it sounds funny, but it's like, what's the first thing that goes down during, an, uh, goes out the door during some kind of crisis? Toilet paper, right? Why not have a little bit extra right now? Right now, while there's tons of it on the shelf, like, right? It's just so simple. You don't got to go out and buy a ton because you got to store it and stuff. You're like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to stop crapping for the next uh, two months. And hey, if things get a little tight, you know, and then here's the other thing too. As things go downturn, you got an extra thing of toilet paper. And I'm, I'm just using toilet paper as an example because you all have seen it, what happened last year or a couple times this year. Think about just when you have a little extra, like you got a flat of canned soup because you, and take your time right now. You can go and use coupons and go buy things for 50% off. Put a couple things of, but it sounds funny, the rice and beans thing, but hey, put a thing of rice and beans off to the side, right? Well, when the craziness happens and you're still able to buy food, just go live your life normally. You only tap into that when you absolutely need it. All right, guys. And it gives you a little bit of peace of mind. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but uh, the rumblings are there. And, and what's happened is where there's smoke, there's fire. And what's happening is everyone's starting to slowly walk to the bank and go, I'll just pull a little bit of money out. Oh, I won't go and buy that right now. And I think as that progresses and more people see other people doing it, especially that herd mentality, it's gonna, it's gonna amplify. All right, guys. Hope you got something out of this. Thank you for all the likes, the subscribing. Um, we crossed 5,000 last night. That was awesome. It was it's a milestone for me. Um, and I'm so grateful. You guys are awesome. We'll talk to you later.